In this tutorial in Microsoft Access, we're going to show you how to work with creating a date field or a yes, no, or on, off field and controlling the input in either case. So let's take the date field first. I have a table on the screen called people and I want to enter a birthday. So I'm going to right click on the tab and go to the design view. Now we'll enter in the left area a field name. We'll call it birthday. And it starts with a short text. Uh, what I want to do is click the down arrow and simply change it to date time. And that will give me the format so I can put a date in there. Let's make this a little more interesting. Let's say that in this case, we want to make sure that the person that we hire uh, in our company is over 18 years of age. So then we need a validation rule. I'm going to click down here to validation rule and then I'll have my button with the three dots on it and I can type in my rule. Uh, here's a useful one to have. Uh, this would calculate automatically that the date of the person, the, their birthday, is at least 18 years ago. Uh, so I would say it would the, the date put in has to be at least less than or equal to date add and then I use a bracket then I quote y y y y for year comma minus 18 you could do 21 if that was what you wanted comma date parenthesis double parenthesis that's today's date and I end that then we'll add a or is null that will also allow for a blank date if we don't have that information. Then I'll, then I'll click on OK, and now I have my formula in my validation rule. Then I should probably add a text. We'll call the text um, um, must be older than 18 years from now. So we customize the error message if you don't get it. And we'll put back on caption, we'll put birthday. So we'll go ahead and we will uh, go back to our regular view, which forces us to save our table. And it gives me a couple warning messages. I'm fine with that. So if I go here and click to a birthday, I can use the calendar option. But if I'm going to go back 18 years, it's a lot of clicking on the, uh, the issues here. So I'll probably just enter it in normally. I'll put in um, uh, 1519. 99 and it accepts it. Let's try a date it won't accept. Let's go uh, to 115 and it says must be older than 18 years from now. And so we'll go back to another one, uh, 5-1-19-65 and that accepts it. I'll go to this record and I can actually leave it blank. The blank is okay but it will not let me enter a date like uh, three days ago because it gives an error message. So I can go ahead and leave it blank and we're fine, but I cannot enter a date that is newer than 18 years ago. Let's give you another option on a, another kind of field. We'll right click and we'll go to our design view. We'll enter another field. We'll call this a background check. And we'll make this one, instead of a date field, we'll make this a yes-no field. So all I do is yes-no. You could also change it to uh, the format to uh, true or false or on or off. Uh, we'll leave it at yes and no. And we can also, in this field, we can uh, give it a caption. We'll say <coughs> background check. And uh, a default value, it will default to no. I could change that, default it to yes. And uh, I could make it required or not required, but that's uh, up to you. And so now I have a new field. We'll click on the table view, which will force me to save the changes. And then I can just check these on or off uh, for records. And the default again is off, no background check. 
So it's two other ways in which you can begin to build your tables and control the input of data in Microsoft Access. Thank you.